This is uh, course three. We talk more about 3D facial scanners. Um, I want to just kind of show, this is, this is kind of the cool aspect, the fun aspect of like, man, when, when we start bringing in all these files together, um, you know, the patient experience, the diagnosis, the treatment planning, um, there's all these different scanners on the market. I mean, I'm still, I'm still a little bit cheap in nature, and so I like doing, uh, I just like using the iPhone app, the Bellis 3D app. It does some pretty cool scans. So this is um, planning digital dentures within a, with inside a patient's face. And I'll show you, notice the first scan versus the second scan. So the first scan, eh, the quality is pretty good. And then notice the second scan. You start to get a really nice picture. And what the difference is, the only difference between these first two, or these two is, um, is lighting. So what we found is uh, we, if you scan your patients outside or in front of a bright window with the iPhone, you get a really, really nice image. I mean, I think this scan is just really, really nice to look at. And then when you bring these files in, you can make them translucent and turn on various layers and you're kind of creating that digital patient. So whether you're using it for the wow factor of like blowing a patient out of the water that like, dude, they understand every aspect of my, of my situation or using it for diagnosis, uh, really, really cool. Um, the app's got a pro version where you can, you know, get your occlusal plane, your midlines, your camper planes, your pupillary line and, you know, do all this cool treatment plan. So I, I diagnosed myself that I had a canted arch just based on this app, and I thought that was pretty cool. This is called Bellis 3D. Uh, unfortunately, I think it's still only on the iPhone and not in Android. They've got a free version and a pro version. Uh, free version is it's free and it's 99 cents to export a scan out into onto the computer to be able to use, which you know, a buck, a buck per patient, pretty cool. Or they've got a $40 a month pro version, which gives you these features. I think these are just fun to try to do the trial on, but whether or not they're actually needed in your practice, you know, I went and played with it and then I went back to the free version. So 99 cents per export, you gotta use one of the newer iPhones. I think it's like the 10, 10 or newer, um, or the newer iPad.